Ever since we existed, the sun has been our natural companion with its different wavelengths changing throughout the time of day, playing a key part in how well we sleep, think, and recover. The truth is, our modern lifestyle disrupts the natural balance between our body and light. We spend more time indoors, expose ourselves to artificial blue light at the wrong times of the day, and face environmental toxins. This disconnect between our body and the sun prevents us from getting the light we need to support optimal cognitive function. So in your brain, as you know, you've got billions of neurons connected by billions of pathways, synaptic connections. Turns out that the brain is highly sensitive to light. And of course, since it's locked up inside your skull, it doesn't get a lot of light. But especially near infrared light can penetrate through the scalp and the skull into the brain. Facing all these challenges, our brain is the first to suffer when it gets too little of the right wavelength it needs to sustain optimal cognitive function. That's why we at Neuronic designed a Neuradiant 1070 nanometer infrared light device to give it just that extra support it needs to do its job well. The idea actually came many years ago while I was studying. I seen this video on Facebook and it was done by ABC News of a guy called Max Weber. He had Parkinson's and in the video is Max put a bucket on his head. It's a strip of near infrared light, a staple to strap under his chin. He had seen it on mice, something working. So he went to his clinician. The clinician said, all right, this won't be available for another 10 years. And he says, well, I'm going to do it myself. So he created this bucket and in the video it reports, nine out of 10 symptoms improve. Max is playing the piano again. And I thought, this is crazy. The first time I'd heard of light therapy, and I was thinking, if this actually works, let's have a look at some of the research on it. And secondly, let's make a product that's actually refined yes. that we can make accessible to everyone. So these LEDs should have the right wavelength. And, you know, there are other wavelengths that work, but the wavelength that Neuronic has chosen, which is 1,070 nanometers, is a very effective wavelength. You have to have sufficient power to really produce a beneficial effect. And what Neuronic has is 15 watts of optical power, which may not sound a lot to you, but in, in actual fact, 15 watts of light is quite a lot. This is a safe device, you know, it's the sort of device that people can use at home. We don't only work with neurofeedback providers, but we also work with physical therapists or people who use hyperbaric oxygen or people doing nutritional therapy. And photobiomodulation is such a great adjunct to any of these modalities. So it's, um, it, it's a neat thing to be able to, to work directly with end users, but also with the providers as well. So we tie in all of these things together to make something even better. There's four preset protocols on it, and you can play around with the custom settings. But I say play around, you can adjust the time, right. intensity, and frequency. You get access, which is a four-digit code, yeah. to an unlockable feature, which allows you to put the front on, the back, the left, right. and the right. To really get four different quadrants at a certain pulse at a certain time. And you can do it in steps as well. So you could do 10 hertz here. Yes. And then after that minute, you can do the back for 20 hertz. Okay. I'm not suggesting you do that. Just that's what it allows you to be that customizable. The reason that we made these presets is this really kind of covers a good starting point for anybody who's getting started with this. They're considered more gentle protocols, so they're not intended to, you know, set you off on some crazy ride or something. They're, they're the safe and general protocols that hopefully you can go through and start to test out and see which one you prefer the most. What photobiomodulation can do is kind of increase the plasticity in your brain and allow the cells in your brain to form the connections that they should have anyway, but they've got overcome the sort of stuckness, if you like, of these connections in your brain. I was introduced to Neuronic's uh, transcranial photobiomodulation helmet about six months ago. I am a board certified neurotherapist and my practice focuses on brain-based services, uh, primarily QEEG brain mapping and neurofeedback. Generally with the new technology, clients can be somewhat hesitant to invest in it. So I decided to get one for my clinic and use it 
with my neurofeedback patients at the beginning of their neurofeedback sessions. So most sessions for the helmet are anywhere between five and 12 minutes. So I would use that at the beginning of their neurofeedback session and follow it up with their neurofeedback. And from that experience, I would say roughly like 30% of my clients have decided to get a helmet because they have the ease of using it from their home, which is really convenient for people that have a busy schedule. The result has been consistent across the board. People in my clinic tend to notice results around the one month mark. Some people, it takes about one and a half to two months. Most notable progress I've seen is patients with cognitive decline, memory issues, and then also just mood stability. So a lot of patients I work with tend to be the people that feel psychologically flooded. After a long day, they tend to numb out or they're easily irritated. And they have found that the helmet really enhances a sense of calm and peace internally. And they also have a clear mind able to focus better. There's other factors that come into play, like sleeping, your diet, etc. But one day I did actually have like brain fog. Do you know when you can't? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I said, let me try the helmet today. And this is a good few months ago. Yeah. And I put the helmet on. And sure enough, after one of the preset protocols, honestly, it was just, it had changed and it had lifted. And that to me was a moment when I actually felt the effects firsthand because we had so many testimonials and people coming in saying, hey, you know, my son with autism, he isn't acting out as much anymore. Like this is really helping. Yeah. Or we've had people with Parkinson's saying their tremors have slightly decreased. We have one young girl who got it recently and she's she's from Ireland. She had Lyme disease. So it's actually affected her memory. Yes. She's been using it and found that her personality has come back. So I, I recommend people to be using it as early as possible. By the time your brain is fully developed around the age of 24 to 26 years old, mm -hmm. then you start going into the point that it's going to possibly lead into decline. The sooner that you can get a helmet on yourself, the mm -hmm. better the outcomes will be because you're not having to actively fight against something. That's not to say that, you know, if you start after you've already had cognitive decline, you'll still mm -hmm. see benefits too. That's absolutely the case as well. But I think it's the best scenario is if you can start before any of these things happen, especially if it's something that runs in your family and it's a genetic thing.